let's go on air and I am going to take us all back to um, 1978 and this is a film called Silver Bears and it's a very odd film, very odd film indeed. Uh, technically this counts as a British film comedy. Now this is a film with quite a few prominent actors but a totally confusing storyline or perhaps several storylines and sometimes they come together and other times they seem irrelevant to each other. The basic story is, well, one of them at least, uh, is to do with an organised crime boss, Joe Fiore. Now he's played by Martin Bolton and a not overly honest financial expert, Doc Fletcher, played by Michael Caine. And Doc Fletcher has an idea that if they had their own Swiss bank, they could launder money all the easier with none of the usual inconveniences. And Joe Fiore puts the idea to his crime associates uh, in a sauna, <laughs> but they don't go for it. Uh, Doc Fletcher wants to make this happen. He really is uh, wedded to this idea. And he persuades Joe, Joe Fiore, to buy him the Swiss bank that they will look for. He's not keen on the idea, but he persuades him in the end. Doc flies to, um, you know, Michael Caine. Doc flies to Switzerland with Joe's uncouth and troublemaking son and Joe's associate to meet Prince de Syracuse, played by Louis Jordan, uh, who, although being a prince, has hardly any money left. Um, now, some nice scenery is driven through. They're shown lots of impressive looking Swiss banks, but their bank, <laughs> their particular bank, <laughs> turns out to be above. It's, it's basically one floor uh, office above a pizzeria and is completely run down. And worse, it has no assets, which they were sort of banking on. Um, the, the prince points out that what they have are the deeds to a Swiss bank. And, but they're not really happy with this deal. But the prince says, look, the, the important thing is you've got these deeds to a Swiss bank. That's the important thing. Uh, but the importance of that seems to go by them. Uh, however, the prince mentions that his cousins, prince's cousins, have a silver mine in Persia. Now, the doc thinks the bank could invest in that mine to improve the look of the bank to in attract big investors. Meanwhile, at the London Metal Exchange, Charles Cook is a big player in the silver market. And he sees a flood of silver on the market and he thinks that he should arrange for the bank that is funding the mine to be brought out, bought out so that the mine can be closed to maintain the silver value. Now, he can't do it directly. People would know, you know that he's involved. But he contacts the president of the First National Bank of California to expand his business in Europe. Uh, the president of that bank pushes that task onto a timid accountant, Donald Luckman to go out and arrange to buy the bank. Donald gets to take his wife because she'd enjoyed a trip. Now, Doc doesn't trust Luckman when he turns up and to get further information, Doc and the Prince meet Luckman's wife, Debbie. Now, Debbie is played by Sybil Shepherd. Uh, meet him, meet her over a, a meal while her d husband, Donald, has had to fly to London. Debbie seems to throw herself into Doc's arms with very little resistance as a result of a fair quality of high quality, uh, a fair amount of high quality alcohol. And this enables Doc to find out what Donald was really up to. Now, up to now, this is about an hour into the film and there's been an awful lot of exposition and scene setting to build the prelude to, you know, what to this part of the overly complex story and it sort of plods a little bit up until now or at least it isn't that exciting or fun up until now so the first hour is really really tough going and as, but as soon as simple shepherd as debbie turns up it gets a lot more engaging and interesting but it also makes a, a, a lot less sense than it did before now emi had taken over at this stage a couple of British film studios. They'd taken over a couple of other British film studios and the rank organisation was scaling back their film work at this time. So by then EMI was effectively the only British studio producing work. And this is why you, you end up with this really confusing hodgepodge of a film with a very, very strange storyline but some very interesting actors in there uh, doing some not very characteristic parts. Silver Bears, I, would I recommend it? Yeah, I think I kind of would. Um but not not fully you know i'm not i'm not committed to that but i would kind of recommend it just to see what uh, what michael kane can do in a in a particularly bad position um silver bears 1978 uh, enjoy thank you